Have you spent the last few months watching only Mediacorp shows? From bullies and simps to bosses and idiots, I found the top 8 most annoying characters that's deserving of a good old slap. I'm Nick and welcome back to Keyboard Warrior Reviews Mediacorp. First on our list, we have this Chikope, super pervert on the train. So he hires a prostitute, I mean, you do you bro, but he isn't subtle at all. At times, low key bragging. I pay good money, so I expect good service. But of course, yes. that's why you got me, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and he was blurting out lewd comments in the presence of kids. As a member of society, please, we have better standards than this. Up next, we got Mr. Pick Me. Do you think I should put my hair up? Maybe it's better? You know, just, just push it up a bit. Like this way? Calm down, Rockstar. You're here for an internship as the title suggests, not a runway show. Not only is this guy obsessed with himself, he doesn't even pull his weight when the team needs him to. Where did you go? The meeting is in 30. Sing me. Give me no time. I'd stay as far as I could from such people. No I'm about to get nauseous already. Yeah. In six, we have our TCM sensei from Sunny Side Up. Aravin finds a baby by his shop, but his first response Aravind. is for his ego to act what up. What are you doing here? Uh, it's a baby. Huh? Oh. Really a baby? How can somebody just leave him here like that? Not sure how long he's been here. Better get him some medical attention. I, I better call Auntie Christine. I am a sincere also. Chinese doctor, you know. Then I mean, I Arvin is just a kid. He probably doesn't even know about TCM. How old already? You still got such a massive ego. The baby is very lucky. I was opening the shop. Auntie Christine, how is the baby? But it doesn't even stop there. Later, he tries at everything to get Good. credit. The baby is very lucky you found him. Yeah, very lucky. We found him together. The mother was bleeding. And here he manserts himself into don't the situation. Know. Don't even how to say. But actually, his wife is right. She's right. There was bleeding into the amniotic fluid and the baby saw him there. Man needs to catch a break. I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. In number five, my friends from afar. Having just saved her from an assailant, Qian Sheng decides to carry Feng Xiao home, despite hating her guts. But while she's on his back, he starts having all kinds of thoughts. From slight lovey ones, to more malicious end, what is just outright weird and creepy. I'm not gonna judge his kings, but he's gonna deserve a what are you thinking kind of slap. Though I won't slap too hard lah, at least he still helped the damsel in distress. In number 4, we have our typical school bullies. Absolutely obnoxious. <laughs> and in natural Singapore fashion, we just want to mind our own business. Oh wait! Someone is brave enough to stand up against them. <sighs> but of course, they are unfaulted and yet even more confrontational. Moments later, they're not letting up and the bullying gets worse again. Luckily enough, we might just have a hero stepping in to do a little justice. I'll leave you to watch the show and find out what happens. Ah. Number 3, the bosses of Algorithm. Yes, all three of them. The first supervisor doesn't lead by example. Your partner is waiting for you at the lobby. Can't you see I'm busy? And why are you being so nosy anyway? But sir, how you treat your partner is not what the institute teaches. I'm sure she'll feel neglected or even hurt. Sarah! What's between my pairing and I is none of your business. The next supervisor is ultra competitive. This morning I noticed a group of facilitators moving boxes into the storage room. Am I missing out on something here? Maybe you should mind your own business. 
because when you screw up what's on your plate, I'll be there to take over you. I've never seen a handover more hostile than this. So and lastly, off. the big boss, total Ryan. dictator leadership sir, vibes. Oh, team. But, but sir, in my defense, Officer Ryan is supposed to- Excuses. Perhaps I thought too highly of you, thinking that you can handle the mess. Guess what happened? Incompetent. I want this thing. I mean, there's no collaborative working at all. This is what the Gen Zs call toxic work environment. I wouldn't want to be promoted into any position that faces this sort of drama. All three should be slapped for their incompetence to be leaders. I want this thing. In a show about competitive high school tennis, we have our protagonist number one, cheerleader. No, he's not evil. In fact, he's way too positive. Come on guys, this is Emily we're talking about. She probably woke up way early to make sure that she's 100% prepared for today's game. Emily, what happened? Oh, no, it's nothing. Are you in any condition to play today? No, I'm fine. It's just a little sprain. Oh, Emily. He makes the stuff. I made a bottle of homebrew tonic for you to drink between sets. Melts at her words. She said, I'm awesome. And speaks for her when um nobody asked. You are wrong, Nadia. I believe in you, Emily. I know that deep down, you wouldn't want to be here if it wasn't by your own merit. I'm surprised Emily Ew. at this point hasn't found him creepy yet. Gents, I just want to tell you, if you want to get a girl, this ain't the way. The only thing this gets is a slap. In number one, we have these two school kids from Lion Moms. You're tight, you're tight. <laughs> hey, Jeremy. What? Hey, did I see your mom around school? We have a student's mom who's also a teacher that has a sex tape leak. But these two busybodies just don't get off his case. Starting from taunting. Around somewhere. Oh, she will want to see this. Then actually trying to stop him from seeing it. Believe me, you wouldn't want to see this. It will scar you for life. <laughs> hey, come on, man. No, no, come on. Don't say I didn't warn you. Then suddenly, it's this remark. Your mom's hot. Hey. <laughs> What's going on in this character's head? Just purely insensitive. Someone needs to teach these two youngsters a lesson and maybe slap some sense into them. And with that, my palms are sore as we wrap up our top 8 most slappable characters. Let me know in the comments if there were any annoying characters that we missed who just might feel a little bit itchy on their cheeks. I'll see you in the next Keyboard Warrior Reviews. Remember to like, share and subscribe or I'll slap you. <laughs>